Hello ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the current affairs of first week of november so let's start first question is which indian cricketer has officially been inducted into icc cricket hall of fame right answer is rahul dravid mr wall has been officially inducted into icc cricket hall of fame he is the fifth indian to be included in this list earlier mr bishan singh bedi mr sunil gavaskar mr kapil dev and mr anil kumble were in this list if we talk about icc it is international cricket council the headquarter is in dubai in uae the chairman of icc is mr shashank manohar while the ceo of icc is mr david richardson recently icc appointed indra nooyi as first independent female director england became the first team to play 1000 test matches while mitali raj is the first indian cricketer to score 2000 t20 runs and mr virat kohli has become the fastest player to score 10000 one day international runs he was also awarded rajiv gandhi khel ratan award recently answer in comment box which country has won women's t20 asia cup 2018 next question is which state government has recently launched sour jal nidhi scheme right answer is odisha odisha government has launched sour jal nidhi scheme to increase the use of solar energy for helping farmers in irrigation the government will provide subsidy to the farmers under this scheme if we talk about few other initiative by odisha government recently government launched green mahanadi mission under this 2 crore saplings will be planted on the banks of mahanadi river the government also constituted sashi bhushan bihara committee to suggest steps to be taken for the development of odia film industry recently andhra pradesh and odisha announced that they will launch joint operations to combat left wing extremism on the 2nd october odisha government also launched own food security act to cover those who were excluded from national food security act answer in comment box which state was in news for the outbreak of nipa virus next question is which country has launched the world's first sovereign blue bond right answer is seychelles seychelles has launched world's first blue bond blue bond is a financial instrument to support sustainable marine and fisheries projects seychelles is a country in indian ocean and the capital of seychelles is victoria India is keen on developing Assumption Island of Seychelles as naval base due to its strategic location. As China has acquired its first African naval base in Djibouti in 2014. So China has acquired a naval base in Djibouti. Djibouti is also having the military base of USA, France and Japan and that is why India is willing to have a naval base in assumption island therefore the government signed mou that means memorandum of understanding in 2015 however the project was in trouble after the change of president in seychelles and the opposition government accused seychelles government of compromising sovereignty so the project has been stalled Lamite is a joint military exercise between India and Seychelles. Next question is which union territory falls under jurisdiction of Calcutta High Court? Right answer is Andaman and Nicobar. Andaman and Nicobar is under the jurisdiction of Calcutta High Court. Calcutta High Court is the oldest high court and recently Justice Debashish Kumar Gupta has been appointed as new chief justice of calcutta high court answer in comment box who is the new chief justice of bombay high court if we talk about jurisdiction of high courts bombay high court has jurisdiction over maharashtra dadra and nagar haveli goa 
दमन एंड दीयू कैलकाटा हाईकोर्ट है जूसडिक्शन और वेस्ट बंगाल अंडेमान एंड निकोबार मद्रास हाईकोर्ट है जूसडिक्शन और तमिलनाडु एंड पुडुचेरी गुवाहाटी हाईकोर्ट है जूसडिक्शन और आसाम नागालैंड मिजोराम एंड अरुणाचल प्रदेश वाइल केरला हाईकोर्ट है जूसडिक्शन ओवर केरला एंड लक्षद्वीप पंजाब एंड हरियाणा हाईकोर्ट है जूसडिक्शन ओवर पंजाब हरियाणा एंड यूनियन टेरिटरी ऑफ चंडीगढ़ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच इज़ द ओनली इंडियन फिल्म दैट हैज़ बीन इंक्लूडेड इन बी बी सीज हंड्रेड बेस्ट फॉरन लैंग्वेज फिल्म लिस्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी राइट आंसर इज पाथेर पांचाली इट इज़ ए मास्टर पीस बाई मिस्टर सत्यजीत रे एंड इट हैज़ बीन इंक्लूडेड इन बी बी सी लिस्ट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट फ्यू अदर इंडियन फिल्म काला इज द फर्स्ट इंडियन फिल्म टू बी रिलीज इन सऊदी अरेबिया वाइल गोल्ड इज द फर्स्ट बॉलीवुड मूवी टू बी रिलीज इन सऊदी अरेबिया गोल्ड इज बेस्ड ऑन नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट लंदन ओलम्पिक्स विलेज रॉक स्टार इज ए मूवी बाई मिस रीमा दास विलेज रॉक स्टार्स विल रिप्रजेंट इंडिया इन ओस्कर अवार्ड्स रिसेंटली ब्रिक्स फिल्म फेस्टिवल हेल्ड इन डर्बन इन साउथ अफ्रीका द बेस्ट फिल्म अवार्ड वॉज वॉन बाई न्यूटन न्यूटन इज ए मूवी बाई मिस्टर अमित मसूरकर वाइल द बेस्ट एक्ट्रेस अवार्ड वॉज गिवन टू मिस बनीता दास फॉर हर परफॉर्मेंस इन विलेज रॉक स्टार्स द स्पेशल जूरी अवार्ड वॉज गिवन टू विलेज रॉक स्टार्स विच डी कमीशनड एयरक्राफ्ट कैरियर विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू इंडियाज फर्स्ट एवर मूड मेरी टाइम म्यूजियम कम मरीन एडवेंचर सेंटर राइट आंसर इज आई एन एस विराट आई एन एस विराट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू इंडियाज फर्स्ट एवर मेरी टाइम म्यूजियम कम मरीन एडवेंचर सेंटर रिसेंटली महाराष्ट्र गवर्नमेंट हैज अप्रूव दिस प्रपोजल इफ यू टॉक अबाउट आई एन एस विराट आई एन एस विराट होल्ड गिनीज बुक रिकॉर्ड ऑफ बींग द लॉन्गेस्ट सर्विंग वॉरशिप इन वर्ल्ड इट वॉज द लास्ट ब्रिटिश बिल्ट सिप विच वॉज सर्विंग विद द इंडियन नेवी इट वॉज बिल्ट इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी थ्री ड्यूरिंग द सेकेंड वर्ल्ड वॉर हाउ एवर इट वॉज कमीशनड इन इंडियन नेवी इन नाइनटीन एटी सेवन एंड इट वॉज डी कमीशनड इन ट्वेंटी सेवनटीन आफ्टर द डी कमीशन ऑफ आई एन एस विराट आई एन एस विक्रमादित्य इज द सोल एयरक्राफ्ट कैरियर ऑफ इंडिया आई एन एस विक्रमादित्य इज नेम्ड आफ्टर द लीजेंडरी एम्प्रर ऑफ उज्जैन आंसर इन कमेंट बुक्स द फिफ्टींथ एडिशन ऑफ प्रवासी भारतीय दिवस इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन विल बी ऑर्गेनाइज इन विथ स्टेट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द ग्लोबल सेटेलाइट नेविगेशन सिस्टम ऑफ यूरोपियन यूनियन राइट आंसर इज गैलीलियो Galileo is the global satellite navigation system of European Union. Recently, China has launched first geostationary satellite Beidou 3. It will serve the countries which are part of Belt and Road Initiative. If we talk about the satellite navigation system of different countries, GPS that means Global Position System is the satellite navigation system of USA. GLONASS is satellite navigation system of Russia Galileo is the satellite navigation system of European Union NAVIC is satellite navigation system of India NAVIC is Indian regional navigation satellite system presently it is the constellation of seven satellites and it covers India and the region extending 1500 km around it the satellite navigation system of China is Beidou Next question is which Indian company has been named as official partner of FIH Men's Hockey World Cup 2018 Right answer is Tata Steel Tata Steel has been named as official partner of Men's Hockey World Cup 2018 If we talk about 2018 Men's Hockey World Cup this will be the 14th edition it will be in Kaling Stadium in Bhuneshwar Bhuneshwar is the capital of Odisha. Oli is the mascot of Men's Hockey World Cup 2018. Total 16 teams will participate in this tournament. India is hosting this tournament for third time. First time India hosted it in 1982 in Mumbai, second time in 
2010 in Delhi. The event is organized under the ambit of International Hockey Federation. Answer in comment box. Where is the headquarter of International Hockey Federation? Next question is the first ever Indo-Japan joint military exercise, Tharam Gharjian, has started in which of the following states? Right answer is Mizoram. The first ever joint military exercise between India and Japan started in Mizoram. If we talk about other important military exercises, Milex was the first ever joint military exercise between Bimstek countries. Answer in comment box. Which countries are the part of Bimstek group? Vostok is a military exercise by Russia. This was biggest ever military exercise by Russia since Cold War. Rapid Trident was conducted by Ukraine along with NATO members. Malabar is a trilateral exercise between India, USA and Japan. Yudh Abhyas is a bilateral exercise between India and USA while Surya Kiran is an exercise between India and Nepal. Maitri is a joint exercise between India and Thailand while Nomadic Elephant is an exercise between India and Mongolia. IBSAMAR is a joint exercise between India, Brazil and South Africa while Sahyog is a joint exercise between India and Vietnam. Lamite is a joint exercise between India and Seychelles. Next question is who has been named as brand ambassador of 10th AIBA Women's World Championship? Right answer is Maricom. Miss Maricom has been named as the brand ambassador of 10th AIBA Women's World Championship. AIBA stands for International Boxing Association and the 10th AIBA Women's World Championship will be in New Delhi. If we talk about few other brand ambassadors, Ms. Ravina Tandon has been named as the brand ambassador of Sanjay Gandhi National Park. Ms. Maricom has been named as the brand ambassador of BSNL. Mr. Akshay Kumar is the brand ambassador of Road Safety Campaign. Ms. Hima Das is the sports ambassador of Assam. She also signed an endorsement deal with Adidas. She is also known as Ding Express. Mr. A.R. Rahman is the brand ambassador of Sikkim, while Ms. Kriti Senon is the brand ambassador of Bata. Mr. Amir Khan is the brand ambassador of Vivo Mobile, while Mr. Jonti Rhodes is the brand ambassador of Isuzu Motors. Isuzu Motors is a Japanese company. Ms. Anushka Sharma and Mr. Varun Dhawan are the brand ambassador of Skill India, while Ms. Jaya Prada has been named as the Nepal's Goodwill Ambassador. Ms. Alia Bhatt is the brand ambassador of Nokia India. Next question is, which of the following launched digital literacy library in six Indian languages with lessons on digital safety? Right answer is Facebook. Facebook has recently launched digital literacy library in six Indian languages with lessons on digital safety. If we talk about Facebook, it is a social networking site. It was founded in 2004 and the headquarter is in California in USA. Presently, Mr. Mark Zuckerberg is the president and CEO of Facebook. He was also the founder of Facebook. The subsidiaries of Facebook are Instagram, WhatsApp and Oculus Virtual Reality. Answer in comment box. Who were the founders of Twitter? Next question is, which state emerged as overall champion in first Northeast Olympic Games? Right answer is Manipur. Manipur won the maximum number of medals in first Northeast Olympic Games. The first edition of Northeast Olympic Games held in Manipur, while the second edition will be in Arunachal Pradesh. Eight Northeast states participated in this event. Manipur won the maximum number of medals. Manipur won 159 medals including 80 goals. Assam was on second position with 140 medals including 46 gold medals. Answer in comment box which states of India share the border boundary with Bangladesh? Next question is what is the theme of United Nations for 2018 World Cities Day? Right answer is building sustainable and resilient cities. This was the
theme of 2018 World Cities Day and the main event was organized in Liverpool in United Kingdom. 31st October is also the birth anniversary of Sardar Patel. On this very day this year Prime Minister unveiled the Statue of Unity. Statue of Unity is world's tallest statue with the height of 182 meter. If we talk about Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel, he is known for the integration of 562 princely states to make Republic of India. He was the first Home Minister of Independent India. The Statue of Unity is built by Larson and Tubro. It is situated in the Narmada district of Gujarat. Mr. Ram V Sutar has designed this statue next question is recently the first ever india us dialogue on intellectual property was launched in which of the following cities right answer is new delhi if we talk about india us relationship recently in september the first ever 2 plus 2 dialogue also held in new delhi the minister of external affairs and defense minister of both countries participated in this dialogue later comcasa was also signed comcasa stands for communications compatibility and security agreement yudh abhyas is a joint military exercise between india and usa while malabar is a trilateral exercise between india usa and japan usa withdrew from jcpoa jcpoa stands for joint comprehensive plan of action informally it is also known as iran nuclear deal and in order to pressurize iran usa recently formed iran action group next question is which city has topped the ola mobility institute index named ease of moving index 2018 in public transport right answer is kolkata kolkata has topped this list and it is followed by new delhi and chennai if we talk about few other indexes and reports india is on 77th position as per ease of doing business 2018 report this is published by world bank and it is topped by new zealand last year that means in 2017 india's ranking was 100 as per the brand finance nation brand report 2018 india's ranking is 9th and this is topped by usa according to 2018 Global Hunger Index India's ranking is 103 the index is prepared by Concern Worldwide and Welt Hunger Life this was the 13th edition the first edition came in 2006 and the focus of this year was forced migration and hunger as per human capital index India's ranking is 115 this was the first ever index it was prepared by world bank and as per 2018 oxfam world inequality index india's ranking is 147 answer in comment box what is india's ranking as per global peace index 2018 next question is rbi has started process to set up pcr for capturing borrowers detail the acronym pcr stands for right answer is public credit registry PCR stands for Public Credit Registry means it is a database to capture the details of all borrowers including willful defaulters willful defaulters are those people who have the capacity to pay but they are not willing to pay if we talk about few other terms related to banking NPA stands for non performing asset while PCE stands for partial credit enhancement PCA stands for prompt corrective action next question is the all india unreserved mobile tracking facility that means uts on mobile has been developed by indian railways kris where is the headquarter of kris right answer is new delhi the ministry of railway has rolled out all india unreserved mobile tracking facility to promote cashless transactions contactless ticketing and customer convenience the uts on mobile application has been developed by kris kris stands for center for railway information system it is a organization under ministry of railway 
and the headquarter is in New Delhi. If we talk about railway, recently few other initiatives were taken. Ask Disa is a chatbot by IRCTC. Answer in comment box what is the full form of IRCTC. Railway Ministry also launched Madad app for quick grievance redressal. Apart from it, Mission Satyanista was launched for ethics in public governance while Mission Raftar was launched to increase the speed of trains. Next question is Little India Gate which is in news recently is inaugurated in which of the following cities? Right answer is Medan. Medan is a city in Indonesia. Indonesia is a Asian country and the capital of Indonesia is Jakarta. Indonesia recently hosted 2018 Asian Games as well as 2018 Asian Para Games. The mascot of 2018 Asian Games were Bhin Bhin, Atung and Kaka. Mr. Neeraj Chopra was the flag bearer of opening ceremony of 2018 Asian Games while Ms. Rani Rampal was the flag bearer of closing ceremony of 2018 Asian Games. Answer in comment box, India was on which position in medal tally in Asian Games? Momo was the mascot of 2018 Asian Para Games. Mr. Maria Panthangvelu was the flag bearer of 2018 Asian Para Games. Corpet is a coordinated patrol between India and Indonesia while India recently launched Samudra Maitri to help earthquake and tsunami affected Indonesia. Next question is on which date the 2018 World Tsunami Awareness Day is observed? Right answer is November 5. The World Tsunami Awareness Day is observed on 5th November. If we talk about important days of November month, 5th November is World Tsunami Awareness Day, 7th November is National Cancer Awareness Day, 9th November is Legal Services Day, while 14th November is Children's Day as well as World Diabetes Day. Answer in comment box, in 2018, who were given the Nobel Prize in Medicine? Next question is, India's first asymmetrical cable stayed Briz Signature Briz has recently inaugurated in which of the following cities? Right answer is Delhi. This Briz has been inaugurated in Delhi and this is India's first asymmetrical cable stayed Briz. Recently, China also opened world's largest sea Briz linking Hong Kong, Macau and Zhuhai. Hong Kong is a special administered region. This bridge will connect Hong Kong and Macau through Pearl River Delta, which noted journalist has been chosen for prestigious Raja Ram Mohan Roy Award. Right answer is N. Ram. Mr. N. Ram has been selected for prestigious Raja Ram Mohan Roy Award. Mr. Ram is a veteran journalist and award is given for his outstanding contribution in journalism. If we talk about few other awards, recently Mr. Ram Vanji Sutta has been given Tagore Award for Cultural Harmony for 2016. Mr. Vanji Sutta has designed Statue of Unity. Statue of Unity is the tallest statue in the world. Mr. N. Mukundan has been given Ejuthachan Puruskaram Award while Mr. Satrudhan Pandav has been given Sarla Puruskar. Prime Minister Modi has been selected for Seoul Peace Prize while Ms. Malala Yusuf Jai has been selected for Glitzman Award. Professor M. S. Swaminathan has been selected for First World Agriculture Prize. Answer in comment box who has been given Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratan Award this year. Next question is which of the following cities is the venue of 18th IORA Council of Foreign Ministers meeting? Right answer is Durban, the recent 18th summit of IORA Council of Ministers held in Durban. If we talk about IORA, it is Indian Ocean Rim Association. It is an intergovernmental organization of 21 coastal states bordering Indian Ocean. One peculiar thing that should be kept in mind is that though Myanmar and Pakistan have border on Indian Ocean, 
they are not the member of IORA the headquarter of IORA is in Mauritius India recently inaugurated Panini language laboratory in Mauritius the Indian delegation for IORA meeting was led by general VK Singh if we talk about Durban Durban is a city in South Africa the 10th summit of BRICS also held in South Africa apart from that the third BRICS film festival also held in South Africa the president of South Africa is Mr Cyril Ramaphosa you can see the leaders of BRICS members in this picture however after recent election in Brazil Mr Jair Bolsonaro has been elected as president rest head of the states are Mr Modi from India Mr Xi Jinping from China Mr Cyril Ramaphosa from South Africa and Mr Putin from Russia attended this summit Mr Michael Temer who was the president of Brazil at that point of time attended that summit next question is which company has received India's first letter of credit payment via blockchain right answer is reliance industries reliance industries has received india's first letter of credit payment via blockchain hsbc has executed a trade finance transaction using blockchain for an export by reliance industries to tricon energy tricon is a us based company therefore the blockchain enabled letter of credit has reduced the time taken for such deals if we talk about letter of credit it is a letter from bank guaranteeing that a buyer's payment to the seller will be received on time so in this present deal hsbc is a bank reliance is a seller that means exporter and tricon energy is a buyer next question is the government of india has recently approved operationalization strategy for operation greens for which of the following crops right answer is top that means tomato onion and potato the government of india has approved operationalization strategy for operation greens it is a initiative of ministry of food processing to ensure availability of tomato onion and potato throughout the year without price volatility operation greens was announced in this year budget with outlay of 500 crore the objective is to stabilize the supply of top crops that means supply of tomato onion and potato next question is who has been appointed as india's new ambassador to iran right answer is kadam dharmendra mr dharmendra has been appointed as india's new ambassador to iran he is ifs officer of 1990 batch ifs stands for indian foreign service if we talk about iran the capital of iran is tehran mr hasan rohani is the president of iran and rial is the currency of iran recently the first trilateral meeting on chahbar project held in tehran this trilateral meeting was between iran india and afghanistan Chahbar is a crucial for trade specifically in the wake of Pakistan denying transit access to India. Chahbar is also considered as a counter to Gwadar port. Gwadar port is a part of China Pakistan economic corridor and recently Saudi Arabia declared its intention to join CPEC as third strategic partner. Apart from that, USA has reimposed sanctions on Iran. However, India and China are among eight countries who has been exempted from US sanctions on oil imports from Iran. Next question is which sports journalist is the author of book The Fire Burns Blue: A History of Women's Cricket in India? Right answer is Karunai Keshav and Siddhant Pathak. The book is co-authored by Karunai Keshav and Siddhant Pathak. If we talk about few other books related to cricket a century is not enough is a book by mr saurabh ganguly indian sports conversations and reflections is a book by vijayan bala 281 and beyond is a book by vvs lakshman no spin is a book by shane won the dhoni touch 
is a book by Bharat Sundaresan and Imperfect is a book by Sanjay Manjrekar. Answer in comment box. Who is the author of the paradoxical prime minister? Next question is, what is the theme of 2018 National Ayurveda Day of India? Right answer is Ayurveda for public health. Ayurveda Day is celebrated on Dhanvantri Jayanti and this year Dhanvantri Jayanti was on 5th November. So 5th November was celebrated as Ayurveda Day. The theme for 2018 Ayurveda Day was Ayurveda for public health. Recently national seminar on entrepreneurship and business development in Ayurveda held in New Delhi. This was organized by Ministry of Ayush and Niti Aayog. Apart from that, the International Ayurveda Congress held in Netherlands. This was the fourth summit. Answer in comment box. Which country hosted the recent summit of Shanghai Cooperation Organization? Next question is the newly built Ekana Cricket Stadium is located in which of the following cities? Right answer is Lucknow. Ekana Cricket Stadium has been renamed as Bharat Ratan Atal Bihari Vajpayee International Cricket Stadium. Mr. Vajpayee, who was our ex-Prime Minister, was a member of Parliament from Lucknow for five consecutive times between 1991 to 2009. Answer in comment box. What can be the maximum representation from Union Territories to Lok Sabha? If we talk about few other name changes, Allahabad has been renamed as Prayagraj while Mughal Sarai Junction of Uttar Pradesh has been renamed as Deen Dayal Upadhyay Railway Station. Teen Murti Chowk of Delhi has been renamed as Teen Murti Haifa Chowk. Haifa is a city in Israel. Jasugda Airport has been renamed as Veer Surendra Sai Airport. This is in Odisha. Naya Raipur of Chhattisgarh has been renamed as Atal Nagar Wahil. Nagar Untari town of Jharkhand has been renamed as Bansidhar Nagar. Next question is which renowned personality has been honored with Distinguished Fellow Award by India Global in Boston? Right answer is Mr. Anupam Kher. Mr. Kher has been honored with Distinguished Fellow Award by India Global in Boston. He recently resigned from the post of Chairman of FTII. FTII stands for Film and Television Institute of India. This was formed in 1960 and it is located in Pune in Maharashtra. Answer in comment box. Which country hosted the first ever joint military exercise of BIMSTEC countries? FTII that is Film and Television Institute of India is a body under Ministry of Information and Broadcasting and the second FTII will be in Arunachal Pradesh.